Anti-Trump billionaire posts costly billboard in New York City. One word leaves onlookers stunned. Alicia Rich Politics US News for MadWorldNews.com. The hatred expressed by liberals for President Donald Trump is sadly nothing new. However, one anti-Trump billionaire decided to take things into his own hands and to an all-new low as he paid to place costly billboards in Times Square and one word seen on them has left onlookers stunned. Billionaire Tom Steyer has openly expressed his dislike for President Donald Trump from the beginning. However, it seems that his distaste has gradually grown into desperation as evidenced by his most recent costly purchase. Shockingly, he purchased and designed ads that are displayed in New York City's Times Square, costing a whopping $20 million. The advertisements, which are shown for 10 minutes out of every hour, began to display on November 20th and will continue until New Year's Eve. Stayer spent money for the ads knowing full well that over 350,000 people walk through Times Square every day, in addition to the million uh, people who come to ring in the new year every year. However, one word that Steyer decided to place on the billboard has left onlookers in shock. The word across each billboard is impeach. Steyer has used his wealth to buy these ads to call for the impeachment of President Trump. Someone should have informed Steyer that he's greatly mistaken if he thinks this is how impeachment works. Sad. Each of the signs calls on anti-Trump onlookers to sign a petition calling for Trump's impeachment at needtoimpeach.com, uh, need according to Daily Mail. It shows in real time the growing number of people adding their names to the list. They have already reached well over 2.6 million, which might sound like a lot, but it's really not. The U.S. population is over 323 million, and 8.5 million people live in New York City alone. Furthermore, there's no way to confirm whether each name is a unique and legitimate person. For all we know, angry liberals are signing away using multiple emails and fake identities, but I digress. J. G. New York, uh, electronic billboard went up today in Times Square calling uh, for the impeachment of the orange buffoon 45. Thank you, Mr. Stayer. Idiots, right? $20 million for that? We're putting a couple of large billboards in Times Square calling for the impeachment of the president, Stayer said. We legitimately feel that this is the huge issue in front of the American people that no one is standing up for what the overwhelming number of Americans think. Steyer is so desperate to get Trump impeached, he has even released a campaign-style commercial, which I've seen, mind you, prompting his calls for impeachment. However, one of the broadcasts that the commercial ran during Fox and Friends, the president's morning show of choice, was pulled because of negative reactions, clearly. This billionaire was so blinded by his rage that he couldn't stop to think that the viewers of the right-leaning program would also be fans of the president. In fact, even Democrats disagree with Stairs' goal. Surprisingly, even House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi said that there are more important things to worry about than Trump's impeachment, calling the ad campaign a distraction. There it is. Don Sovereign. Uh, Tom Steyer ramps up. Hashtag need to impeach campaign with huge digital billboard in Trump's hometown. That's a billionaire who's having some fun. All right. While there uh, may be several people who agree with Steyer, there are many more who are opposed to his antics. In fact, 
Several people on the internet haven't hesitated to share their distaste. Waste of millions, that's what I'm thinking. You just don't put up an ad and website and impeach the president. I guess he has his reasons for the publicity and what he will get out of it. Money could be spent for better deeds than this. One social media user wrote. That's what I, exactly what I was thinking. Just think of all the good things that could have been done with this much money. What a shame to waste all this money on a childish, stupid, and fruitless attack on the president, another said. While yet another clearly fed up person added, the liberal temper tra tantrum continues. These anti-American people make me puke. Another stated, the brutal truth writing, another leftist idiot, that money could have helped so many people in dire need this Christmas, yet he throws it away on a lost cause. It's a shame that this man is so blinded by his hate that he not only can't see just how well President Donald Trump is doing, but also can't see how a petition to impeach the president isn't how any of this works. Trump has accomplished more good in less than a year than President Obama did in eight, and you don't need to impeach any president based on the opinion of his opposition. Clearly, anti-Trump liberals are stubborn and can't admit when they are wrong. Money may be able to buy a nice billboard, but it won't get them what they want in this case. President Trump is here to stay. Absolutely. But, you know, that is true. So many homeless people, so many people uh, that in need that he could have helped with this idiotic stunt. That's what I thought to myself in the beginning. What an idiotic stunt. It's bad enough he's uh, going on and uh, making commercials, which are like, he seems like an idiot. It's only proving he's more of an idiot. You know, how did he get all this money is beyond me if he's such an idiot. But he could have used that for the greater good, and yet he chose uh, to do this. It's disgusting. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.